red, sweet serenity yoga and wellness. Welcome. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lead you through a slow flow yoga class today. So find yourself a comfortable seat. So if that means maybe perhaps sitting on a blanket just to allow yourself to be a little bit more comfortable, or even perhaps a bolster, but just finding a seat that is comfortable for you today, either in Sukhasana or if you'd like to just extend the legs forward, feel free to do that. And as you settle down, perhaps allowing the eyes to close. And then bringing those awareness, bringing that awareness to the body. So allowing the sitting bones to root down, getting that lift up through the spine, allowing the shoulders to relax and soften, Allow the crown of the head to lift. And just start to listen to the body. Noticing the sensations. Just listening to those quiet whispers. And then slowly bring in your attention to your breath. So no need to change your breath. Just become aware. Perhaps where the breath starts. Perhaps notice the pace of the breath. And as you continue to notice the breath, Start to bring a little bit more attention to the inhalation. It might even feel nice just to allow the belly the hand to become onto the belly and feel that expansion of the belly as you inhale. And perhaps bring the hand onto the rib cage. Notice that expansion of the ribcage as you inhale. And perhaps the hand goes to the upper chest. And notice that lift up the upper chest on the inhalation. And then also noticing how the upper chest softens as you exhale. Another rib cage comes back together on the exhale. And how the belly draws back towards the spine on the exhale. So just noticing that movement your breath creates. With each exhalation, see if you can allow the body to soften and let go. Allowing the body to settle in. Just being present for yourself on the mat. Just letting go of the day, the worries. Anything that does not serve you at this moment. And slowly let's bring the chin towards the chest. Allow the hands to come to the heart center. Let's bring the hands together in this beautiful gesture of gratitude. And from here, we're just going to slowly open the eyes. Allow the hands to come back onto the thighs or the knees. 
let's just start with some Sufi rolls. So just allowing the hips to circle. So these movements can be small, or even if you'd like those circles to be a little bit bigger. Maybe even work the shoulders into this. So as the body comes forward, allowing a little bit more movement through the shoulders. And then we've got a few rotations one direction. Allow the body to pause and then start those circles in the opposite direction. Let's bring that to stillness, allowing the spine to be nice and long here. Rooting down, let's bring the arms out to the side, the palms face up. On the inhalation, let's allow the arms to float up. And then as you exhale, turn the palms down, lower the hands back towards the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up, perhaps even look up. And as you exhale, float the hands down, nice and slow. The chin can come towards the chest. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, lower down. Allow the fingertips to come down towards the mat. Take a breath cycle here. Allow the body to soften. From here, let's take that left hand over towards the right knee length it up so get that length from the base of the spine twisting over to the left keep breathing and then slowly bring it back to center lengthen the spine and twist in the opposite back through center. Here, let's take the left hand down. Okay. And then place your other hand on your ribs. So on those floating ribs, those lower ribs, push those back a little bit. So rooting into the hand that's on the mat, and they'll bring that arm forward and then reach it up over top of the ear. It's in the same way you would have your side angle. So make sure those front ribs are not popping out. And then slowly bring that hand back down. Bring the opposite hand down. Their hand onto the ribs. Line those ribs to come back a little bit. Inhale. Slice the arm forward. Reach it up and over. And then the opposite fingers can either walk away a little bit more or perhaps just a little bit more of a bend in through the elbow. And the gaze can be up or just in line, forward, and then slowly back down, lengthen through the spine, turn the palms up, inhale, exhale, bring the hands through the heart center, perhaps pausing, perhaps closing the eyes, and from here, let's Slowly bring the hands down onto the mat. So if you're sitting on anything, remove that. Making our way into a tabletop. So allow the knees to come underneath the hips. You can come onto your fingertips. So really allow those fingers to spread nice and wide and then slowly push down so the heels of the hands are down so you're firmly into the mat lengthen through the spine the neck is nice and long here the tops of the feet can root down and then even pulling the toes towards you so the heels beam back a little bit lower belly is engaged inhale tailbone comes up belly lowers the head and the heart come forward on the exhalation Allow the tailbone to tuck the back to arch, allowing the head to lower down. Inhale, coming through cow. 
on the exhalation coming through cat. Just allow the spine to ripple. Allow the movement to start from the tailbone. Just a couple more. Just allowing the spine to warm up. And if you'd like to add a little bit of extra movement, free. So sometimes a little bit of shifting. Listening, listening to what your body is asking of you. Finish your last one, coming back to a nice neutral spine. From here, let's pick up the right leg. So extend that straight back. Reach out through the heel. The low belly is engaged, so the leg is not lifting up high, it's just extending. And then take that right leg, cross it over the left, allow the toes to come down and gazing over your left shoulder. Create that space in the ribs. Bring the head back to neutral. Pick up the toe. That leg is crossed over. Bring the knee back down. Lengthen through the spine. Other side. Left leg extends back. Keep the pelvis even. Cross the leg over. Toes come down. Looking over your right shoulder. Bring the head back to neutral. Pick up the toes. Bring it back. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. And from here, tuck your toes under. So nicely tucked under. Still have a lot of length for the spine. Inhale. Allow the tailbone to come up, the belly to lower, the heart to come forward. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone, arch the back just a little bit. Look between the hands, shift the hips back. Allow the hips to come up and back into your first downward dog. As you exhale, let's lower the knees back down onto the mat. Tailbone comes up, belly lowers, heart comes forward. Do that again. Tuck the tailbone, arch the back, look between the hands, shift the hips back, lift the knees, hips come up and back, downward dog, pedal out the legs. So bending one knee, bring the opposite heel down. From here, just bending both knees. Look between the hands, start to walk your feet forward. So maybe it's a lot of small steps or a couple of bigger ones. Tend the fingertips in front of you. Coming into Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. So lengthen through the spine, nice flat back. The hands can be on, the fingertips can be on the mat or on the shins or even up on the thighs. Exhale, fold. Take a nice, generous bend in the knees here. Allow the arms to come out to the side. Coming right up to standing. And then slowly bring the hands to heart center. Perhaps close the eyes. Just take a moment. Slowly open the eyes. Allow the hands to down. So finding your feet. So think about connecting through all the toe mounts, full circle of the heel. So find that perhaps even lifting up the toes. Allow the body to be strong. So finding that rooting action. Soften through the knees. Inhale. Float the arms up. Exhale, start to bend the knees as you shift the hips back, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees enough that you can plant your hands. Step back into plank. Plank can be on the toes or on the knees. So whatever works better for you. 
nice strong plank here. Take a couple of breath cycles. From here, allow the elbows to come in a little bit, bending the elbows, coming right down onto the mat. Tops of the feet root down. Inhale, lift the chest forward and then up, coming into baby cobra. Exhale, lower that down. Tuck the toes under. Press into the hands, either coming through plank or tabletop. And once you're there, shifting the hips back, coming into your downward dog. Bend the knees, look between the hands, step or hop forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. And let's float the arms up. Bring the hands through heart center. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Halfway. Exhale, fold. Allow the fingertips to come down to the mat. Bend the knees. Pick up that right leg. Step it back. Okay. Lower the knee down onto the mat. So here from here, the toes can be tucked or untucked, whichever is more comfortable for you. And then we're in this sort of lunge position. Think about that back leg. Lift that thigh up. So really allow that leg to be strong. Engage it. And then Keeping that action in that back thigh. Bring that front knee maybe forward a little bit. Draw both legs in towards the midline of the body. And even here, if you feel a little bit like you need to create a little bit more space, the blocks can be nice and handy. Allow the chest to open up a little bit more. Couple of breath cycles here. And then that right hand can either come to the mat or onto a block. I'm going to bring the left hand onto the knee. Think about nice openness through the shoulders. So the left hand can either stay on, to the, on the knee or you can reach that arm up and open. Keep drawing those thighs into the midline. Both legs are working hard, they're strong. Slowly, float that hand back down. So option to keep the hands where they are or bring them onto the mat. Shift the hips back a little bit. Step that leg back. And then step the opposite foot forward. Here. So the leg that is on the back, think about really engaging that thigh. So pushing that thigh bone back and then coming forward with Look breath cycles. Drawing those thighs in towards the midline. Okay, so placing the left hand onto the block, the right hand onto the knee. Open up through the chest here. And then perhaps float that arm up and open. And slowly float the hand back down. Hands can be on the block, shift the hips back, bring the knees back, place the blocks aside, bring the hands down, rooting into the hands, tuck the toes under, shift the hips back, coming into downward dog. From your downward dog, rolling forward into your plank. So feel free to come onto the knees. So not collapsing into this plank. So you, that shoulders are strong here. Start to tuck the elbows in, lower all the way down. Top to the feet are rooting down. This time let's bring the hands right off the mat. Allow the fingertips to tent 
And then inhale, bring the chest forward and then up, lifting up into Cobra. So maybe a little bit of a higher lift here. It's a back bend, so be mindful of how you feel. A couple of breath cycles. And then let's lower down onto the mat. Hands come back underneath the shoulders or even closer towards the rib cage. Tuck the toes under, press into the hands, coming up through plank or tabletop. And then bending the knees, shifting the hips up and back, downward dog. Bend the knees, look between the hands, step or hop forward. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees and float all the way up. Bring the hands through heart center. The breaths soften through the knees. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Plant the fingertips. Pick up that right foot. Nice big step back, leaving the knee where it is. I mean, the knee up. And then finding your high lunge here. So hands come onto the, that back leg again is active. Press that thigh up and then sink forward. Good. Maybe bring the arms alongside the body. Inhale, reach arms up. Ears are away. So the shoulders are not up at the ears. They're relaxed, they're soft. Center. And then throw the hands down to the side of the foot. Step that foot forward. Uttanasa. And then bend the knee. Let's step the opposite foot back. Again, that back thigh lift it up. And the hands can come up to the knee. And so you're not pressing down into the into the knee. You're just hands are just placed there. Knees on top of the ankle. Arms can come alongside the body. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Lengthen through the fingertips. Hands come to heart center. Let's bring the fingertips back down. Bring the weight into the front foot. Step it forward. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale. And reverse swan dive all the way up. Let's bring the hands through the heart center. Okay. Let's come to the middle of our mat. It's going to come into a wide leg. So allow the feet to be parallel or slightly pigeon toed in. So you want that. And even here, you want. So what stands not to be so wide that you do not cannot root into your feet well. So you want that stability through the feet, a foundation, and then the hands can come out. Think about the legs being active. And then let's just bring the hands back down. Here, soften through the knees a little bit. As you soften, you create those hip creases. Coming forward a little bit. Nice flat back, the hands can come onto the thighs. Breathing, and then maybe the fingertips come down to the mat or even a block. Nice flat back, maybe the legs can straighten a little bit. Do not hyperextend through back of the knees. Keep that low belly lifted. If it feels okay, on each inhalation, lengthen, and then as you exhale, Perhaps coming a little bit lower. Inhale. Come into that halfway lift. Bring the hands onto the hips. And then leading with the back of the head, slowly rising up. Yeah. So leaving the hands 
sort of at the hips. And think about the pelvis staying nice and even, staying where it is. And we want to do a little twist, so we'll twist to the rib cage. So maybe let's bring the hands, arms up into cactus, and then just leaving the pelvis nice and quiet, just twisting over. You can have a soft bend in the knees here. Bring that back through center, and then twisting in the opposite direction. We're working more of the obliques here, not twisting the spine so much. One more time to the first side. The center, and then over to the other side. And back through center. Bring the hands up to the hips. Heel toe it a couple of times. And then come back to the front of the mat. From the front, rooting into the feet. Allow that left foot to stay where it is. Pick up the right foot and I step back. Okay. So that back foot can be in line with the back of the mat. Come up onto the front toe. So lift that front heel up as you do. Already the hip wants to bend there. So finding that and then lowering the heel down. Okay. Shoulders are over top of the hips. And then allow the arms to expand, to extend out, soften through the shoulders. Warrior two, very Vajrasana two. So think about the back thigh that is still active, same as we did in our lunge. So it's still nice and active. The knees not past the ankle. Keep breathing. Slowly bring the arm on the inside of the leg. So I'm going to hand there. The back arm is going to slice forward. So we're allowed to come forward and then reaching up over the ear. So you get a lot of length right from your fingertips all the way down to the foot. So a nice long line. In, reach into that top hand. Front leg. Yeah. From here, just have a slight little bend into that front knee. Turn that back foot. So now both feet are made facing more in front of the mat. So pelvis is facing forward. Again, bending into that front knee. Okay. Shoulders relax. Arms can come alongside the body. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up, coming into your warrior one. to heart center. Bring more weight into the front foot. Come up onto the back toes. Step it forward. Okay. Rooting into the feet. Bring the weight into the right foot. Pick up the left foot. Nice big step back. We have that heel to arch or heel to heel alignment. Let's lift up that front heel. Bend into it. So the knee is coming over that second toe. And then, find an expansion through the arms. Shoulders are still soft and relaxed. Breathing. Back leg is strong. Let's bring that front arm on the inside of the leg. So keeping the length in through the body here, the top arm slices, reaches up. Inhale, reach it up, coming back to your warrior two. Hands come to the hips, straighten that leg for a moment, and then bend into it a little bit, shift that back hip. Pelvis is now facing forward, you're going to bend into that front knee, root into the back heel. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up, warrior one. to heart center, weight into the front foot, step it forward. 
Soften through the knees. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale. Fold. Bend the knees enough that you can plant the hands. Step back into place. Tuck the elbows. Let's lower all the way down. Okay, we're going to have the option to come up into Cobra, or if you'd like to come up into Up Dog, allow those hands to come back a little bit further. Really tuck the elbows in, the tops of the feet are pressing down, and then press into the hands, chest comes forward, and then lifting up. Pick up one foot, flip the toes, and then the other one. Bend those knees a little bit. Shift the hips up and back into downward dog. Bend the knees. Look between the hands. Step or hop forward. Forward fold. Inhale, half foot. Exhale. And reverse swan dive all the way up. Hands to heart center. Even the hands at the heart center. Bring the weight into the left foot. Pick up the right heel. And do a little bit of balance here. So find a spot to focus your gaze on. It will help with your balance. Really root it to the foot. And then find your tree pose. So maybe the foot is on the ankle. Maybe it's on the calf. Maybe up on the inner thigh. So really work with what's working for you today. So listen. Maybe the branches grow. Again, if it's a little bit of challenge for balance today, you can always hold onto the wall if you're close to a wall or even using a chair. Bring the hands back to the heart center. Let's release the foot. Going to take that foot and cross it over to top of the knee. Lengthen through the spine. So nice length. Maybe sitting into this a little bit so you can stay right here. Perhaps the hands come onto the knee and the ankle. So this is another option. But the other option is you can allow the hands to come right down to the mat. So fingertips come down. So the foot that is lifted. Those toes can curl around the arm. Keep breathing. And slowly rising up. Once you're there, I'm cross. Place the foot down. You can walk it out a little bit. Okay. Well, it's rooting into the feet again. Really find that foundation. Bring the weight into the right foot. We're going to pick up that left and then find the tree. So when you do on one side, it's the same thing you want to do on the other side. So if your foot was on the calf, then that's the same thing you want. You want to keep that evenness from the right side and the left side. A couple of breath cycles here. And then let's bring the hands to a heart center. Release the foot, cross the ankle, the knee. Okay, perhaps staying right here. Maybe this is enough for you today. Or you can bring it down, sinking into it. Keep the length through the spine. You want to allow the fingertips to come down to the mat. Allow those toes to curl around the arm. Cross and place that down. Soften through the knees. Inhale. Exhale and fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale. Bend the knees enough that you can plant your hands. Stepping back through plank. Again, option to drop the knees. Maybe you've had enough planks. Elbows come in, lower all the way down. Tops of the feet are rooting down. 
Inhale, lifting up into Cobra. Exhale, lower. Do that one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes under. Press into the hands. Coming up through plank or tabletop. Shifting into downward dog. Bend the knees, look between the hands, step or hop forward. Forward fold. Inhale, half up. Exhale, fold. And reverse swan dive all the way up. Hands through our center. Okay, let's do come into Malasana squat. So I'm going to demo, demonstrate it with the blocks. Janine, are you okay without the blocks? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you could do two blocks, and if you don't have blocks at home, you could use a small stool and just have it placed just a little bit behind you. So the feet are going to be a little bit wider. The toes can come out, and perhaps we'll bring the hands to the heart center or even at the waist is fine. If you find that you do need to hold on to the wall or something, then that can always be an option. From here, we're just going to allow the knees to bend. So maybe just bending it a little bit first and then coming up. So just noticing how that feels. And then slowly lowering down. As you lower down, those of you who need something to sit on, hopefully it's in the right spot. So once you're there, the heels should be down on the mat, hopefully. You're pressing the elbows into the legs, but you are pressing the legs back into the elbows. Breathing. And those of you who are not sitting on anything, just bring one hand in front of you and one behind you for balance, and then lowering down. Okay, now I'll just remove my blocks. Okay, coming down into seated. So finding your dandasana. So we want to sit with that tall spine, so perhaps even rooting into the fingertips, getting that lift up through the spine. Feet are flex, so you can even press the heels down, get that length. And then from here, just take the hands underneath the knees, draw the knees up a little bit, bring the soles of the feet together. So you want a fair amount of space, so it's not about bringing the legs in so close, it's creating some space, press feet together, the hands can rest on the knees or the shins, and here you can even allow the toes to come out, so pushing the feet against each other, but toes go in the opposite direction, lengthen up through the spine, so nice look, and then coming forward a little bit, holding, again, flat back, so we're not rounding through this, so maybe you don't come as far forward. Couple of breath cycles. And then slowly coming up. Okay, this time as we come forward, just coming forward a little bit. Okay. Again, thinking about twisting from, not from the base of the spine, but more from those obliques here. Let's just twist it over to the left a little bit. back through center, and then over to the right. Back through center, lengthen through the spine one more time. This time, as you come forward, if you'd like to round the back and release into this, if that feels good for you, do that. If that doesn't feel good for you, then just stay up a little bit higher. Hands on the outside of the knees, bring the legs together, 
extend those legs out again. Sit up nice and tall. Take that right leg. We're going to bring that right leg in. So bring it in fairly close in. So you want a little bit of space between the foot and the thigh. And you can use the hands on the knees just for that little bit of leverage to sit up a little bit taller. Okay? Leaving the left hand onto the right knee. Take the other the right hand beside you or even behind you. Lengthen up as you start to twist. So maybe the hand stays on the knees, maybe the elbow will come onto the knee, or maybe the elbow will even come onto the outside. So really noticing what feels good. And I think this is the twist for your spine, so the head does not need to turn if it doesn't feel good. Keep breathing. back through center. So to extend that leg nice and long again. Bring the other leg in. So a little bit of space, hugging that in. And then just place the hand onto the knee. Lengthen up. Bring that other hand down or behind you. And then either the hand onto the knee, the elbow, or bring the other elbow. So really, again, just finding that twist where it feels good, where you get sensation without pain. right together so find that little bit of hugging action through the legs open up through the collarbones so the chest is nice and open and then perhaps just leaning back finding your balance here keep lifting up so not dumping into the low back okay if you need to leave the feet down then leave the feet down maybe the shins lift up maybe the arms can come out Brings into your half the basana. Perhaps you can lean in again. It's working those core muscles. And let's bring the feet down. Become nice and wide. Just relax into this. Hands can come down. Even allow the neck to relax. And then slowly. Up. Let's make our way on to our back. So just lying back. As you lower down, just allow your feet to come about inner hip distance. So knees are still bent. Sorry, about feet are about inner hip distance. Got smaller hips than that. <laughs> Hands are resting down. Okay? And even here, think about pressing into the feet. So bring the weight into the feet as if you're standing on them. And then the gaze goes straight up. You want to have that space underneath the neck. So you want to have this openness in through the throat. And then press into the feet. As Janine's going to press into their feet, your hips are going to lift up. You're going to get lighter. So the knees are going to beam forward. The thighs stay parallel. Keep breathing. See? Throat still stays nice and open. Beautiful. Back of the head is pressing down. Couple more breaths. At the same time, if you need to lower down at home, then lower down. And then on the exhalation, slowly lower that down. Once you're down, hug the knees into the chest. So bring them in. Even here, maybe a little bit of pointing and flexing of the feet. Just stretching through the toes. And allow 
the feet to come back down onto the mat and then perhaps allowing the feet to be a little wider apart so walking them aside I know you don't have room for your arms to come into a T so just bring them out a little bit wider or maybe you do a cactus arms be perfect okay she's gonna windshield wiper her knees back and forth so just allowing for that release through the spine Next time the knees come over to the right, just lower them down. Allow them to relax. Even here, so her arms, palms are already facing up. So if you are in this at home, the arms could be out into a T, the palms can roll up. And if it feels okay, you can bring your gaze in the opposite direction of the knees. Taking a couple of breath cycles here. Just relaxing. Letting things soften. And slowly bring the head back to neutral. Your arms are out nice and to a T. Just turn the palms down. And then bring the knees back up through center. Adjust the feet and the hips if you need to, and then start your windshield wiper again. Again, this movement could be small, or even a little bit bigger. And then if you find that when you do lower the knees, they don't want to lower all the way, then you can use support. So bring our knees over to the left. So if you need some blocks, so if the palms are down, turn the palms up. And the head can stay neutral or perhaps even placing a block or a pillow or something between the knees might feel nice allowing things to soften back to neutral. Bring the knees back through center. Walk the feet back to inner. Bring the arms back forward. Let's hug the knees in towards the chest one more time. Hugging them in again. Knees can be together or if you need to create a little bit more space, the knees could be wider so the knees can come over towards the shoulders. Just noticing what you need here. And then from here, Slowly start to extend those legs up towards the ceiling. Allow the feet to relax. Do you want the hips to be completely settled down? So there's like the legs are dangling. You're not ex activating the muscles. You're allowing them to relax. And you can bring the arms up perhaps. So allowing them to dangle. There we go. So allowing the shoulders to completely relax. So bring the arms perhaps even a little bit wider. Shoulders are down. So allowing the fluids in the blood just to go in the opposite direction. So allowing them to flow from the extremities down to the belly, to the organs, to the heart. Allowing yourself just to settle in here, releasing. Allowing the mind to quiet. Slowly bend the knees, bring the hands onto the knees, bring the big toes to touch, and start to make circles with the knees. So opening up the knees and bring them back together. So just allowing for that massage on the low back and the sacrum. So allowing it to feel good. So one of those movements 
It always feels good for me, especially at the end of the class. See that soft massage on the low back. And then making sure those circles also go in the opposite direction. And then slowly allow that to pause and become still. Bring the feet back down onto the mat. From here, just allowing the legs to extend nice and long. And the arms can come out. So we're going to find Shavasana here. And then if you're at home and if you would like to keep the knees bent, allow the feet to be a little wider, maybe the knees even resting against each other, maybe that would feel nice. And sometimes it feels nice just to allow the arms to be out of the side, but other times it's nice to have the hands on the belly or the heart, or one on the belly and one on the heart. Really listening to the whispers of your body. And as you settle into Shavasana, allowing the eyes to close, or perhaps the gaze just to be soft. Allowing the muscles to soften. Just noticing your breath. Allowing the back body to sink to the earth, Just allowing Mother Earth to hold you, to support you, and allowing your front body to soften into your back body. Releasing the jaw. Allowing the tongue just to rest softly on the lower palate. The teeth can part slightly. And just imagine the skin on your face being soft. Allowing the eyes to soften. And the brow to soften. Surrendering to this quietude and stillness.
and slowly start to deepen your breath. And if you're at home and you'd like to stay in Shavasana longer, just stay there. Relax into it. Be ready to come out. I invite you just to start to get a little bit of movement. Perhaps wiggling the fingers and the toes. Be allowing for some rotation of the wrists and the ankles. It might even feel nice to turn the head from side to side. And just start to find that yawning quality. Allowing the body to move as if you're waking up for the first time today. your feet and roll to your side. Just allow the knees to come up towards the chest, the chin can tuck in towards the chest. You get that curl through the back, so arching through the back a little bit, feeling your breath on your back body. So really notice the back ribs, how that expands as you inhale. Softening here. Use that top hand. Press into it to make your way up into seated. So perhaps still keeping the eyes closed or just having a soft gaze. Let's find a comfortable seat with a nice tall spine. Let's bring our hands to our hearts. Lower the chin towards the heart. And this beautiful gesture of gratitude. Just having gratitude for things and people in our lives, for Mother Earth, for nature, for the connection we have with people. I invite you to think about one thing about yourself that you can be grateful for today. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste. Staggered, right? Staggered, yeah. So, which is fine. As long as I'm at the top of my mat. Back sitting.